Welcome Thundercat fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review. Today I will be reviewing the Thundercat hero Panthro. This figure definitely stands out among the other Thundercats in this toy line. The blue and gray coloring is very unique among the bright orange, red, and yellows of the LJN Thundercats. Panthro is also the only Thundercat who is standing with his knees bent. Now I'm not sure if this is meant to be more of a fighting pose since Panthro is easily one of the best fighters in the original cartoon, or if it was a design choice to make it easier for Panthro to fit in the Thunder Tank. Either way, it's an interesting feature. Panther's bright red eyes really draw you in, as aside from the Thundercat symbol on his belt, it is the only vibrant color on this figure. And of course, we cannot forget about Panther's trademark spikes on his shoulder straps. It should be noted that a lot of the Panthro figures have lost paint on these spikes from years of playing and handling. Panthro has the same basic articulation as most of the LJM Thundercat toys. His head moves left and right, his arms move up and down, and his legs move forward and backwards. However, due to his battlematic action, the movement in his arms are limited. In fact, when you move one arm, his other arm moves as well. His battlematic action can be activated by the trigger on the back of the figure, and in Panther's case, his action is a double nunchuck attack. These nunchucks are Panther's only accessory and consist of plastic red and blue claw-shaped fighting sticks connected together by a black plastic chain. His nunchucks do have a few variations. One version has a C hook connecting the sticks to the chain, while the other version has more of a question mark shaped hook. It should be noted that Panther's weapon is fairly hard to find loose, so if you're interested in collecting the vintage Thundercat toys, you should probably just pay the extra and get a completed figure up front. And unlike with a lot of the other Thundercat figures, I have not seen a good reproduction of Panther's nunchucks on the market. This could change over time, but for now, it looks like getting the vintage weapon is the way to go. There were a few color differences in some of the Panthro figures, although I'm not sure if I would call this difference a variation. Some of the boots, wristbands, and shoulder straps were a lighter blue than the more standard dark blue. Although I cannot confirm this, it seems that the lighter blue versions of Panthro were from the original release in 1985, while the darker blue versions of Panthro were from the later released lines. As seen here, the Panthro from the second series released in 1986 has the darker blue than the original 8-bag series. We know that this card is from at least the second series because it has the advertisement of the Mail Away exclusive Mummy Mumra, while the original 8-card bag does not. Again, this is not something I can confirm in my research, so it's just an interesting theory. If you know if this is correct, or if you have a theory of your own, let me know in the comments below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you know about all my other reviews. And check out next week where I start a brand new series called Remember This, where I take an in-depth look at some of our favorite 80s and 90s toys. In my next Thundercat toy review, I will be taking a look at the evil mutant Jackalman. Until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.